Refreshing curly hair can be such a pain, so I wanna do as little of it as possible. It's also really not great for our hair to be wetting it down with water every single day and restyling it. It can cause permanent damage to the hair. Well, I'm gonna show you three to five ways that you can refresh your curls using as little water as possible and even some ways to refresh without water. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Gina, and here I make videos all about naturally curly hair. I love simplifying things for beginners, talking about the science of hair and helping you problem solve. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So I like to protect my curls at night by sleeping in a silk or a satin bonnet. This is one from Amazon. I actually have another one that I usually sleep in. And then this is one that I actually wear while I work out because it's very thin, so it's breathable. So I did a workout this morning with this bonnet in, and then I took a shower put a shower cap on over top, and then I got ready and did my makeup. So I have not taken this down yet since before I started my workout. That's my personal favorite way to protect my curls because then I'm not stretching out my curls in a scrunchie. I will wear my hair up in a scrunchie on other days when my hair is already you know, in need of a refresh, but when it's still looking really good, that's when I wear a bonnet and I work out at home so I don't mind. It's not like I'm going to a gym. So I'm gonna take my hair down and show you guys what we're working with. Not too bad, right? I just have a little bit of frizz, which I'm gonna show you how to refresh in just a moment. The first step all starts with wash day. The way that your next day hair turns out has everything to do with the products that you used on wash day and also how you styled your curls on wash day. And then also how you protected your curls overnight. So I wanted to briefly talk about the products that I used on wash day and why I chose those in order to have a good refresh the next day. First off, you want to be using a stronghold gel as a last step in your styling routine. If your hair turns out frizzy after it's dried, whether if you air dry or diffuse, and it immediately frizzes up then your gel did not have strong enough hold so the one that i used on wash day it was from we dad this is the advanced climate control stronger hold gel this is one of my favorite gels especially for humidity because it does give strong hold but it's still very flexible and easy to work with this is not going to be like those very thick sticky gels that give you hard hold but are also impossible to refresh with i also used this rizo curls curl defining cream underneath so i used this first and then went in with this this is new to me i actually just got a little trial size of this in my curls monthly subscription i can have a link down below if you want to check that out but you can basically test out new products which is why it's small but really like my results with it it paired very nicely with this weed at gel so this gave me moisture and this gave me hold i also picked this gel because it can be reactive Activated with water. That is super helpful when it comes to refreshing because you don't want to have to layer on product every single day. I also chose this because it has high slip. This formula is very thin and liquidy and very slippery feeling. If your product has high slip, it will be a lot easier to refresh with, especially if you deal with tangles. So I have pretty much no cast left in my hair, but the nice thing about this gel is you still have hold even when you don't have a crunchy cast. That's how you know it's a good gel and it's not too frizzy. So I just have a a little bit of frizz going on. I had a cast still in this area when I woke up. I actually had quite a bit of a cast when I woke up, but like I said, I've already worked out, showered, and gotten ready, and I've been kind of touching my hair and stuff, so that's why the cast is broken up, but the frizz is not too bad at all. So I would actually recommend skipping refreshing on day two if possible, especially if you just styled the night before. Hopefully you don't really need to refresh, but let's go ahead and go into a spot refresh or a curl by curl refresh. If you did want to do a few times, Touch up. So I start refreshing by fluffing out my roots and then separating any really large curl clumps that like to stick together. I'm doing this with dry hands because if you touch your dry hair with wet hands, you can cause frizz if you're not careful when you are separating clumps. You can also have an oil on your fingers when you're doing this. And then I also just like to separate some larger ones at the nape of my neck because they really like to clump together and shrink up and that just makes my hair look thinner. So I'm going to do what I like to call just a spot refresh or a touch up, or some people call it curl by curl. This is just picking up any curls that look very frizzy or any that have some flyaways sticking out around them. And then I'm going to mist my hands with a mister spray bottle. You can just wet your hands under the tap as well. You're just getting them slightly damp no product or anything, and then I'm just smoothing over it and kind of finger coiling. I'm also picking up that curl next to it and I'm going to tuck that frizz into the curl clump and that really just helps to hide it. If your curl is not springing back up, try going in the other direction. It can be tricky sometimes to know which way your curls go. And if you don't want to finger coil, you can totally just smooth over it straight 
and it will clump that frizz into the curl clump. And this helps so much, especially when you just have a few pieces that are frizzy, but it's not your entire head. Sometimes I will come across a curl clump that is frizzy because there are a few tangles in here, especially on areas like this where I have some shorter hairs from new growth. Those really like to tangle up within the curl clump. So I'm just adding a little bit of water and I'm using my fingers to gently smooth out those tangles. So I'm not fully like brushing through or combing through anything. I'm just kind of smoothing out the hairs that were tangling up a little bit and then scrunching. So I'm really just going curl by curl and focusing on only the frizzy pieces. And because this gel is so great, it can be reactivated with water, as I mentioned. So when you do get the curl wet, you will feel that kind of slippery feeling come back from the gel. And if you do have any areas that are just pretty frizzy and that you know just don't have any more product on them, for me that's always this area. I do like to add a little bit more gel. This just helps me get more hold on areas that are kind of stubborn. So I just added a little bit of gel to my palm, mix it with some water just to dilute it because I don't wanna add a ton of extra product, especially since we're only on day two. And I'm just kind of smoothing that over the frizzy ends. I'm not doing it all my hair. I'm just kind of focusing it on those ends and smoothing it and just kind of twirling it around my finger. And that helps the definition to come back without adding a ton of extra product. So you can go in and diffuse if you find that your curls got pretty wet or if you used a lot of water and if they started to droop, then you'll definitely want to diffuse to help shrink those back up into place. I barely used any water at all, so my hair is already dry and it's only been a few minutes. So it pretty much dries down immediately when you just use a small amount of water, so I don't find the need to diffuse. Occasionally I will need to if my ends start to hang a little bit longer than the rest. Sometimes that does happen by like day three or four, and that's when I will just spritz with some water and then I'll use that diffuser to just hold it so that way they shrink back up and it's not hanging down longer stringy in the back. So overall, that was super easy. It took me only about two minutes to do just sort of like a spot refresh and see how the gel cast came back without me really even having to add any gel at all. And I already have that cast back. So I will just let this finish air drying completely. And then I will go in and fluff out my roots and scrunch out the cast. So that way it can have a softer look and it shouldn't frizz it back up. So I am now on day four, and as you can see, my curls have held up pretty well, especially considering I got stuck in the rain yesterday and I actually did not refresh at all on day three. So day three, skipped refreshing, didn't do anything, did not put any water on my hair except for getting out in the rain and it being very humid, but that's how well this We Dead gel works. But I definitely do have some frizz going on. So overall, I still have really great curl clumps. Like I don't necessarily need to reshape any of these curl clumps or ringlets. I just need to get that definition back if I want it to last longer and if I want to avoid this like fuzzier look because it's not personally my preference although I do like the volume that I get from it so in order to re-moisturize our curls and add some of that moisture back and also help to redefine them we do need to add a little bit more water this time compared to what we did before so there's two ways that people like to do this some people like to use a steamer so I do have a hair steamer here this is from Curadu so you can refresh by steaming the hair and that's a way to infuse use hydration into the hair that way it gets a little bit damp and then you could add more product as needed without having to completely saturate the hair so that's one way to do it or you can just use a mister spray bottle so this is actually what I like to use this is from bounce curl it's their water mister and I just have regular tap water in here whereas for the steamer you need to use distilled water using that steam just now is a really great test on this we dad gel in terms of how well it protects from humidity because it took me a while for my hair to even feel a little bit damp and normally my high porosity hair really soaks up water immediately and it will become very limp but with this my hair is like not even wet which is crazy so what I do is I just take my mister spray bottle and mist my hair down in order to get it a little bit wet that way I can reactivate the product that's already in my hair and since I didn't do any refreshing yesterday I probably do need to add a little bit more gel just because products can evaporate out of the hair eventually and they get kind of broken up to where they dissolve out. But for the most part, there is still product in my hair. And when I do wet it, I do feel that cast come back, but that will get less and less as the days go on as the product 
evaporates out. So I will add a little bit more gel. I don't feel like I need to add more cream because my hair is not dry. That's one of the great things about this Wee Dad gel that I used on wash day is it really is great at keeping the hair moisturized. I don't feel like my hair is dry, but if you do have a lot of dryness in your hair or if you do really need to detangle and like separate curls, I would recommend taking some of your curl cream, mix it with some water. So I could mix this Rizzo Curls curl cream with some water in my hands and then kind of work through the ends and to add some more moisture back. So you might need to re-moisturize your hair. You really just have to be able to assess how your hair is looking on that particular day and what it needs. So for me, I know today I just need more hold, which I can achieve through adding some more water and a bit more gel. So I'm still trying to not break up the curl clumps so that way I don't have to redefine all of them, but on areas where it is somewhat tangly and looking frizzy like this one, I will have to do some detangling because the curl clumps can get knotted up, especially when you go in and wet them. So what I like to do is actually use my tangle teaser brush. You will want to detangle with your fingers, but the brush I will admit is a lot easier to use, but you just don't want to be ripping through your hair when it's not wet enough um, and I will just use that brush to redefine the curl and you can see how much better that it looks because it just smooths out any frizz. So I try and only do this on areas where I really need it if I need to redefine any curls but I'm not going through and brushing my whole head by any means. You want to be very gentle with this and avoid doing your entire head. I also wanted to mention that because the Wee Dye Gel is so slippery, I have a ton of slip in my hair. I would never brush through hair that is not slippery at all like if you use a very thick sticky gel. So I just wanted to show you how my hair is really still just damp. It's not soaking wet. It looks wet, but it's actually not very wet at all. And it's only going to take me a few minutes to diffuse. So I am going to diffuse in this instance, because if I don't, my hair will literally look like it just did a second ago and will just be way more frizzy once it's dry. It really needs the diffuser to help spring back up. And I get a lot of stringiness if I don't diffuse. So for me, the diffusing helps so much that way I don't have to wait for my hair to dry, but it will dry very quickly since the hair is just damp. The roots are not wet, it's not dripping, it's not fully saturated all the way down to the inner layers of the hair, it's just a little bit damp. So I can usually diffuse anywhere from one to two minutes on a refresh day. I usually don't have to exceed that. And if it's still a little bit damp, I will just let it finish air drying, but the diffuser is just going to set those curls into place. So you can see all the cast did come back in my hair and now it looks so much better. So this will allow me to go much longer and not have to go and wash my hair. And so here's how the before and after looked. You can definitely tell that it's more defined. It is now day five since I washed my hair and I typically wash my hair about every four to five days. So typically I would have already washed my hair yesterday, but I don't really have time this week and I don't really need it to look amazing. So I'm just going to skip it and wait until this weekend. I do have my hair currently up in one of these headbands. I wanted to show you guys these because if you struggle with your hair being in your face and you don't like it, but you don't want to mess up your curls, these are actually from Amazon, really cheap plastic headbands, but the way that they're designed, they won't leave a dent in your curls because they kind of take a spiral. But typically I wouldn't even refresh this hair. I would just kind of put it up in a headband or in a scrunchie and just stretch it until I'm ready to wash my hair this weekend. I definitely usually recommend going ahead and washing your hair. If you do have oil at your roots or if you do have product buildup, you're just gonna have to wash your hair more frequently. But if you do really need to extend it, you can definitely use some sort of dry shampoo. I actually have two options for you guys. I have one that's a foaming dry shampoo or you can use an aerosol kind like this one and I will show you how that works. I also wanted to show you how I use the Curlsmith Scalp Stimulating Booster. This is actually designed to help improve your density and just help with the overall health of your scalp, but it is a really great scalp refresh. So I love using this in the morning. The first ingredient is water and it definitely kind of foams up. So I kind of think of it like a foaming dry shampoo almost, but it's not supposed to be for that, I guess. Um, I'm just going to focus this on the areas where I'm struggling with um, some shedding and hair loss, which is always around my temples. So I'm just going to focus it right there. But I don't know if you all can see it kind of gets the roots damp a little bit and it has like that foaming bubbly sound to it. So I love using this after my workouts because it definitely gives a nice fresh feeling. It smells really nice, but this isn't going to like absorb oil or anything like that. This is more so just for overall scalp health and to keep your scalp balanced. I'm not going to use it all over today though because I want to demonstrate some other options for you all to refresh your scalp. The next option is the Buclem Foaming Dry Shampoo. I've actually done a video featuring this on how to refresh your curls after a workout and get 
bit more volume at the root. This is a foam, so it does contain quite a bit of water in it. It also gives your hair some grit, so this is how it comes out. So if you're somebody with very fine hair and you wanna get some more volume, this is a great thing to use. You can also diffuse after this if you really wanna give your hair some volume. So this is a great option for those of you who get flat roots. You can already see the amount of volume that I'm getting just from massaging that into my roots. Definitely see a difference. And because this contains water, it is going to help to reactivate that curl pattern. As you know, when you get your curls wet, it resets that hydrogen bond in your hair. And the final option is to use a traditional dry shampoo in an aerosol form. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. The reason I'm featuring the Advanced Clean option versus the regular is because this one is supposed to help soften and add more shine. So it gives you more of like a conditioning effect versus a drying effect, which I think is better for curls. Now this does contain alcohol, but it doesn't bother me when it's in a form like this because that's what it's meant to do is to dry up like the oil and sweat and stuff on your hair so I'm just gonna use this at the nape of my neck because this is where I typically get very sweaty during my workouts I did a cycling workout today the fragrance of this is very strong I think it smells good but it's definitely super strong so typically I don't use multiple of these but I wanted to show you guys some options. So I also wanted to show you all some ways that you can refresh your hair without using any water at all in your hair. One way is using an oil, which is really not using any water at all. In fact, oil, you know, doesn't mix with water, but this is a great option if you do find that your hair feels very brittle, maybe it's really lacking shine, maybe you have too much of a gel cast and you just want to really soften up your curls, you can go in with an oil like this one from Curlsmith. This is the bonding oil, so it actually has strength thinning properties in it so it's great if you have damaged hair but you would just want to go in with a little bit like that and I'm just going to kind of smooth this over the surface of my hair and kind of scrunch it in now oil is not going to tame frizz you need gel to tame frizz or mousse but it does kind of lay it down if you kind of tuck it in like this and if you do have a lot of dryness this is also going to help one thing you can also do with an oil on your hands is separate any curl clumps. So you see how this one is a little bit thick. I can see where it's kind of splitting right there. So I can go ahead and just separate it and then finger coil it with that oil in my hand. So I don't know how much shine is picking up on camera, but I can definitely see more shine in my hair. It looks less dry because when your hair is more shiny, it has that darker appearance that looks more moisturized, but this will just help keep my hair more conditioned and not so brittle feeling. So that way I can get through another day or so until I wash my curls. But as you can see, it doesn't like tame frizz or redefine my curls. It's just adding that shine and softness. So this is also a great option too, if you want to detangle any areas like at the nape of your neck, it's great to have some oil on your hands so that way you don't cause any breakage. So the last water-free way to refresh your curls is going to be using a product with a high water content such as a foam. This is an example of a foam that contains water in it and also helps provide some hold. This is the Trey Lux Soothe and Restore Curl Defining Mousse. It says it gives definition, hold, and volume. The first ingredient in this is water. So you can use this to reactivate your curls without having to dampen your hair down. Now this is still adding water to your hair because it does contain water, but you don't have to actually have water with you on hand. So this actually comes out like a gel, like it's a full liquid. I can't hold my hand up to show you really because it's gonna get everywhere, but as you can see, it comes out like a gel. So this is going to actually help to tame some frizz because it does have some of those holding ingredients in it. But this would also be a good option if you wanted to put your hair up in a hairstyle and you wanted to tame some frizz, like if you were going to do a high bun or something, you could totally put this in and have a little bit more hold to your hair without having to wet it down. But since I'm not adding water, I can't do a ton of restyling. Like I don't wanna keep adding a ton of product in order to restyle my curls. This is more so just to like kind of tame the surface frizz, if you will. And I know that my hair does not look perfect by any means. It still has quite a bit of frizz, but you can see that curl definition really starting to come back because it contains water. It is reactivating those hydrogen bonds which are what form our curls into that shape. You know, when you get your hair wet and you see the curls start to come back as they dry, that's actually what we need to reshape our curls. So I'll just show you like with this one, it's definitely looking a little stretched out. So after scrunching in a bit of the mousse, you can see it kind of sprung up a little bit.
bit. So because this involves layering on more product, I tend to get a producty feeling. So that's why I typically don't use these methods on a regular basis to refresh. I will just go ahead and rewash my hair or I will just use water because I find that when you add a lot of like refresh products or refresh sprays on top of hair that already contains products in it from wash day or from your last refresh, you can get a producty buildup feeling. There's a few more things I wanted to touch on when it comes to refreshing and how to get more comfortable extending your wash days. The first thing you have to remember is that frizz is so common with naturally curly hair and you don't necessarily have to tame it every single day. Just because your hair looks frizzy on day two or day three does not necessarily mean that you have to refresh or completely restyle your curls. Also, tangles are normal and don't necessarily have to be removed every single day. I know a lot of you like to completely soak your hair down in the shower every day and just not shampoo in order to restyle because of the tangles, but we have to just understand that curls are going to get a little bit tangly, especially in the inner layers of our hair throughout the week, and you don't necessarily have to remove them every day. Now, I know it is difficult. I'm struggling with this as well because I can feel them, so it can be tough, but I'm really trying to just let that go because removing those tangles every single day, especially if you're wetting your hair down to do it, is really bad for your hair. And I definitely noticed a big difference in my hair when I stopped doing this. I used to wet my hair down and detangle every day to refresh, and I had so much damage and breakage in my hair because I was wet detangling every day. You know, the ones that are in the inner layers are the ones that are right now all the way up here at my root. Like, I'm just gonna leave that because I'm covering it up. You can't even see it, and I will deal with it on wash day when I'm using an oil on dry hair to safely detangle. Personally, I feel that dealing with some frizz or some tangles throughout the week is healthier for your hair compared to getting high growth fatigue from over wetting your hair every single day and from detangling. So it's just a trade off and something you have to get used to with time. Also, your hair will get better in time as it gets healthier, especially if you are currently transitioning from having a lot of heat damage or maybe bleach or color damage and you're trying to wear your hair naturally curly, it's going to be very difficult in the beginning to get your hair to last past day one. You're probably going to want to do some more refreshing, but the less refreshing you can do, the better, or the less wetting your hair you can do, the better and your hair will get healthier. So those are all the different ways that I like to refresh my curls. I'm also going to list all of the products and tools that I used in this video. Those will all be linked in the description box down below. And if you're still needing some more help with refreshing, I recommend checking out the video that I posted all about some of the mistakes mistakes that you might be doing that are causing frizz on refresh days. I will have that video linked right here on the screen and that will give you a lot more tips, especially when it comes to frizz and tangles and more when you're refreshing. So I will talk to you over there. Bye everyone.